where we explore comics and story arcs pulled from the long box. Now it is January 22nd and it is new comic book day and we just got our comic books and we made it back and so now uh, it's time to share it with all of you all the good stuff that we picked up and you know what we like what we didn't like what sounds good what doesn't sound good that kind of stuff. So here we are we got first up Batman 87. I just did a re review of Batman 86 just went up last night. Um, this is a the the last one was fantastic. Um, and the cover on this one looks really good. Again, Batman looks beat up. It looks scary. That looks like Cheshire right there in the cover, um, which is one of the five bad guys from the last issue that we saw. Um, Mr. Flagface, Mr. Tooth Guy, Cheshire, Slade. We'll see. Um, there's a prophecy, something going on. There's the rebuilding of the city, a bunch of stuff going on. So the cover looks great. Um, Tinian has been did a great job on that. This first time I was ready to go. Yeah, I'm I'm in on this book. Um, after the first book, it's been a while that that kind of stuff has happened. Um, the next uh, we have Batman: Curse of the White Knight, book six. Batman: Curse of the White Knight, book six. Now this is Azrael. That is Bane, who just got his head chopped off. And he's choking out Batman. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, but Sean Gore Murphy, Murphy's been doing a great job with this book. This book has been a fun, fun read. Um, and if you're not on this, you probably should get on that. Because I think it's ha about halfway through now. So if you really, I mean, if you like Batman, if you like cool stories, that's one to get. All right. So we have Batman Superman, um, number six. Aftermath of the Infected. So we just saw in the last issue they have to fight the infected. Um, they blew up the satellite. A bunch of good stuff went on. So we'll see where that goes. Then we have um, Detective, Detective Comics number 119. <coughs> now, um, this has been solid. Um, it's been solid. It's been okay. But when I don't really care if the book sits on the bottom of the stack, probably just go ahead and drop it because it's not it's not interesting me um, it's good it's just okay the other bad one's been fantastic this is top of my pile this one's been okay so it's like eh, why keep paying for something that I'm really not interested in you know some of these are going next I'm not gonna stay around much longer either um, I just dropped fallen angels today as well so I'll probably get a couple more issues of that in my pull before that goes away but I mean it's been solid it's been a good read um, it just hasn't been terribly like, well, that's awesome. I can't wait to read the next one. Um, now, Marauders, on the other hand, has been up and down. So it's like, oh, I got to get the next one to see if it keeps being good or if it just goes to being bad. So far, it's been just solid. Gary Dugan is solid on Savage Avengers. It's been okay. It's got some good stuff in it. And it has some, mm, okay. So I'm keeping this one for now. <coughs> just so, uh, you know, see where it's going to go. Um. And that, that has been interesting to me. So, and, and I really, really love the X-Men. One of my favorite first books I ever collected. Um, and I have a hard time saying no to the X-Men. Then we got the, the, web of, uh, the Web of Venom, Good Son. Now, this looked great. I saw the advertisements for this. I saw what um, Donnie Cates has been doing with the kid. Um, you know, you know his you know, Venom's son, Eddie Brock's son. And there's something about him. And then you have the other kid who was also a symbiote wearer of, uh, of Carnage, but also the Green Goblin is kind of mixed up in there. So that's going to be interesting. I wonder where they're going with it. And this is kind of what, when they kind of showed it in the, the absolute Carnage, kind of the stuff that was going on with the kid. Um, I kind of wanted to see what is going to happen with it. What story are we, we telling with this? So that's going to be interesting. Um, then we got some uh, Ruins of Ravencroft one-shots. I got the uh, Ruins of Ravencroft Dracula one-shot. <coughs> um, then I got the Ruins of Ravencroft Sabretooth one-shot. These looked interesting. The first book was pretty interesting. Um, so we'll, we'll see. You know, you gotta kind of got the Carnage backstory. Uh, or the, the, yeah, the, the way back. I mean, the symbiote way back. And Null and being in Ravencroft and the pre-colonial that or colonial time, all that kind of stuff. That was cool, and I wonder what that's going to happen here. It's interesting. Frank Terry has always been a good writer for me, so that should be interesting. And then we got this one, uh, Once in Future Number Six, Boom Studios. 
This has been a fun, fun, fun read, and it's really cool with, this, with the covers. Every covers have a sword, has a sword in it with a reflection, and they've done every cover like that in a different way. The sword's in a different position, held a different way, but the theme's there, and it, that's been really cool. I like that. Um, I also like the story, you know, taking the Camelot, the King Arthur storyline, and kind of swinging it on its head. Um, you know, King Arthur was not the good guy here. Um, a lot of good stuff going on in this story. So if you're not read this, um, it's one that you probably should pick up. So those are those are my um, pulls this week. Uh, I, not a ton. <laughs> it's okay. I spent more money on bags and boards because I ran out than I did on, on books, I think. <coughs> so it looks like a good week, uh, good reading. I did drop uh, uh, Fallen Angels and the Zecto Comics. Um, there'll probably be some more dropping soon because uh, I've got to curve back a little bit from the stuff I'm getting. I got a lot of uh, mini series and maxi series are going to be cutting this year, like Freedom Fighters just finished, which was good. So, but everything this week looks great. Uh, we'll have some reviews up later. Uh, but if you enjoyed this review, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time here in the Long Box.